In this video, I'm going to help you with the Coldane Ring Quests. They all start in Eastern Wastes at Garadane Glacier Bane. He will task you with finding two high quality cougar skins and two high quality tundra kodiak pelts. They are super rare off of cougars and kodiaks in this zone only. So what you're seeing on screen right now is the way I sometimes try and farm these. I'll run around using track and grab as many cougars and kodiaks as I can, run them off to a safe spot and then just plow through them, um, you know, 15 to 20 at a time. My health will be fairly low. So after that point, I'll sit down, met up, take an AFK and then come back. In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate how a ranger or maybe druid can do a little bit of farming on these. They're all animals, so you can use panic animal and snare to uh, beat down some of these tougher mobs. The rhinos are probably the toughest one you got to farm for their horn, which you will need for ring three later on. So really the first step is just gathering all the materials you're going to need for the quests. That's killing rhinos, walruses, kodiaks, and cougars. You can also buy these if you don't want to spend the time to farm them. Once you acquire your two high quality cougar skins and two high quality tundra kodiak pelts, run back to Thurgadon, buy a sewing kit, combine those in there, and you will get a hunting blanket. At that point, run back to Garadane and give it to him, and you will receive your ring one. Continuing with the quest dialogue from Garadane, he will tell you about his nephew Borodane and give you a dull bladed ax. Go find Borodane, who's on a three hour respawn timer, and assist him through the zone. Borodane will immediately head to the closest giant fort if you have a Harmony or Lull spell, you might want to hit these giants with Harmony or Lull, and then you don't have to bother fighting them. If you're a warrior or a class without spells, you may want to run over here before he gets there and try and take one out. The captain will also aggro, um, so be careful. Sometimes you'll have bad luck and he'll aggro on him. If you're a class without spells, it gets a little tough there. Uh, I Harmony this bunch however he will still go and attack the Rigor. then he heads to the Rigor fort and he will attack that one on the right there however you can harmony the one on the left after he kills that he will head back to his spawn point this whole portion of the quest takes about 20 minutes when he sits back down, a rabid tundra kodiak spawns. You just need to beat that down real quick, loot the hide, and then give it to Borodane as fast as you can. You get an axe in return. Take that back to Garadane. Along with your ring one and he will give you ring two. For the third ring, you need to run back to Thurgadon and combine the items that you collected earlier into a forge. Those items are a skinning rock, which you found on the ground, as seen in the video now, a woolly rhino horn, and a high quality walrus hide. Check and make sure you are combining the right things. And you get your hunting knife. Once you collect that, run back to Garadane and give him your hunting knife and ring two. And you will receive ring three.
Walking in from the bridge from Iceclad, you've probably always wondered why the dwarf named Tain is laying on the ground. It's for this quest. So if you tell him you'll help, uh, four giants instantly spawn and chase after you. Grab their attention as fast as you can. Um, as a ranger, I like to use snare. Targeting each frost giant and snaring them one by one. This brings separation between them and the named giant. From here, you can bow kite or just kite with spells, whatever your class has. Um, sorry, warriors and rogues. But uh, yeah, just tank and spank them down. You might have to get creative if you're a non-spellcasting class or get a friend to help. As you can see, I'm just rooting the adds and burning him down. Loot the vial and run back to Tane. The vial's called Frozen Elixir. Give that to Tane. It gives you a Coldane Smithing Hammer, which you take back to Garadane, give him with your Ring 3, and you will collect Ring 4. For ring 5, you have to beat Scarbro. Head off to the Orc Fort, right in the front gate, and you will see a Rigor Messenger run by. He's a pretty easy kill. Just collect the... Ragor invasion plans and go turn these into the lookout at the camp here. Buff up if you need to. This spawns Scarborough and some adds. Now if you have Harmony you can just Harmony all of those things and attack Scarborough. If you don't have Harmony you can root Scarborough but drag all the other orcs back over to the dwarf camp and let them take him. And then you can just go beat Scarbro by yourself. But really the trick is rooting Scarbro. Loot his head. Help the dwarves reset. And then you'll give the head and your ring to Garadane to receive the next ring. The next part of the quest has to be in a, done after 9 p.m. in game. So s type slash time to get the time in game. Run over to the orc fort near the ice clad bridge and clear out the camp. After the orc camp is clear, run all the way southwest till you get to Corrigain. Give him your ring and he will spawn Ice Fang, who then you have to escort through the zone and make sure he doesn't die. Eventually he makes his way back to the orc fort that you cleared out earlier. Now at this point, if you have Harmony, once again, Harmony the orcs that you can and go after Pox Breath. If Ice Fang dies, it's not a problem. He's no longer needed. Run Pox Breath away and just solo him down. If you don't have Harmony and you get all three orcs, um, you could use the dwarves for help, just as long as you don't let them aggro Pox Breath. So you could drag them across the zone and get some dwarf help if you need. Otherwise, bring a friend if you don't think you can solo the spellcasters there. Next, you need to go back to the Orc Fort in the center of the map and wait for the Emissary to spawn. Don't attack him, and he will spawn Roderick, who then you need to attack and kill. If you are going to multi-quest this with someone, that person getting the ring will need to loot Roderick at this point. The head and the dagger. At this point, head back to Garadane, turn in the note and the ring, 
and the person that you want to end up with the ring needs to turn in the head last. Finally, you can uh, kill Warden Brook, who spawns on the north side of the map in this little hut here. Um, sometimes he can take a while to spawn. Just keep killing placeholders until he does. Keep in mind, as soon as you attack him, he's going to spawn four additional giants. So attack, spawn the giants, run up north. And then this is where you can kind of kite. What I do is snare all the giant adds. Warden Brook is pretty uh, magic resistant. He might even be 100% magic resistant, so don't bother casting spells on him. What I do is try and snare all the others and get Brook to follow me, and I take an angle around the dwarf camp so that the adds path through the dwarf camp, and they'll start attacking him. In this example, I didn't do that great of a job. As you can see, the dwarves got one giant, but the other two got through. In that case, I'm just rooting and running further away. Finish him off and loot his key. And then run the other giants back into the dwarf area and let them kill them off. The next step is escorting Corbin to safety. So you want to clear out all the mobs here where he's being held captive. Here's where you turn in the shackle key, and then the person that you want to end up with the ring needs to hand the ring to Corbin. When that happens, Corbin will start walking north. Nothing will aggro him. Until he gets to this spot. When he stops, you'll get some giants that spawn and some orcs. What you do is you want to aggro everything you can as fast as possible. If you have an AE spell, you can use that. As long as you don't get Corbin. So what I'm doing is using flame licks, shooting arrows, anything I can to uh, get aggro off of Corbin. Weapon shield works great here as well. So move away a little bit if you find that you didn't get aggro enough on one of them. There's another flame lick. That guy, I think my wonderful pal Vatrilak rooted him. So don't do that. You never want to root these things next to Corbin. So I'm just killing him off real quick. Then train all of this stuff back over to the dwarf camp. And they will assist you on killing all of them. If you aren't tanky enough, you can just run around in circles while they kill them all. What Corbin will do is he'll go back to the spot where all those spawned and he'll look around for a minute. He'll see that he's safe. And then he'll start pathing back to the dwarf village. When Corbin makes it back to Dobbin, they'll start a quick dialogue. After they start that, the person with the ring needs to give Dobbin the ring. In exchange, you'll receive a note in which you take to Garadain. Turn that into Garadain, and you will get ring seven. That's all, folks.